What's up guys and welcome back, it's Pope John Paul here with another battle view and this time we are in Middle Earth with a Rise of Mordor mod battle view and as you've probably seen the title there is a uh, new Rohan faction but it is a, another sub mod for um, Rise of Mordor, someone else has gone away and made this, I will um, put that in there before everyone goes on Rise of Mordor and like oh my god there's a new, Ri there's a new Rohan faction and in fact it's just a uh, a mod on Steam that you can get, but it looks really, really good. And I thought, well, we've got a Helm's Deep map, we've got Rohan, and we've got Isengard, so we've got to do Helm's Deep. So, uh, so that's what we're doing. And I just thought we'd uh, have a start on these guys, these archers here. These are um, I'm trying to remember what they are. They're uh, dismounted shield archers. They they look pretty cool. Very elite looking guys. Um, this guy here, he's like, guys, there's a camera. Just there is a man with a camera just pointing at us. Can no one else see this? And they're like, no, Gary. If you're just going on about mad stuff again. There's no such thing as a camera. But yeah, look at the sight that these guys have to look out on. All those Urukai out there with the hand. That's quite cool, actually. That's all those hand white hands there are Saruman. Um, so I'm guessing you guys that are watching this have seen the movies and have seen read the books, or maybe read the books as well. So if um, but if you haven't and you just uh, felt like clicking on this, then um. The Battle of Helm's Deep is a uh, battle in Lord of the Rings world, uh, Middle Earth, that is also known as, um, in the second movie called The Two Towers, or second book, um, between men, Rohan, and there are elves, but we couldn't bring the elves in this one. Um, I wasn't allowing the elves to be controlled by the AI, it would end in catastrophe. Um, and also, I had the Uruks of Saruman, they are the opposing forces. And uh, Theoden is left with, uh, who's the king? He's up here. I'm not sure which one he is. Probably like this guy here at the front. The uh, the only Germanic looking guy that is left. Where is he? This guy here. Yeah, with his weird hat. He's got like a wit. don't think Theoden had anything like that. But anyway, yeah, Theoden has got his uh, men and elves. And there'd be like Aragorn and Gimli here as well. And they are defending against... Uh, the Oryx of Saruman, um, basically they've got to destroy Saruman, um, and this, they thought this would be their best chance of doing it, hiding in here, and um, it's not really got anything to do with Frodo, Frodo's just like doing his own thing at the time, and then uh, to the, comes to the aid, when they think it's uh, on the third, is it like the third day, the fourth day, something like that, of the siege, they like... I don't know, it's like Aemer's, how would you say, Aemer's um, reinforcements arrive with Gandalf, but again, we can't have Gandalf in this goddamn game. It's a shame. I wish they did the models for like Aragorn and, and um, Aemer and Gandalf and Thed and all that. That'd be really, really cool. If someone's uh, creative enough to do it, then um, please, please do it because that would really, I'm sure many people would appreciate that. So yes, Aemer will arrive later with his forces. It is supposed to be dark, but I turn the brightness right up because... I played this. Uh, I've done this battle once before, and the uh, Uruks are basically impossible to see in the dark. This is, yeah, it is a night battle, but it, they are basically impossible to see in the dark. So I was like, we'll turn the brightness right up, so uh, so you guys can see basically. And even when we get to the walls, they're like, it's still impossible to see these guys. So anyway, we'll go through the armies quickly. So um, we'll look at uh, the Rohan army quickly first, because they're the reason you're all here. Um, dismounted shield arches. We've got quite a few of them. They look... Well, we saw them at the beginning. They look pretty cool. Um, let's look at these guys. They're, these guys are easy to see because the the wall's a bit annoying. and the ca Yeah, the map's a bit annoying for cameras, unfortunately. But yeah, they look pretty cool. And then we've got... Um, what have we got here? We've got more dismounted. We've got Rohan Muster Men. There's some of these guys. These are like the pretty cheap guys. I was like, well, these can be like the guys that... Like the old and the weak that get recruited. So I... They all got chevroned up a bit though, because the Uruks are apparently very, very powerful and um, in this mod, so that's great. But I mean, I don't know how powerful they've made these guys in the mod either. This is obviously a different mod, so um, they may not be balanced. A Riddermark Spearman, again, some pretty cheap sort of units to uh, use, as, like represent the old and the, uh, and the young. Um, dismounted Rohan Oathman, these are like the more professional troops, the more like frontline guys quite a lot of these these you get, they look very much like the Germanic guys from Attila 
Um, and then what we've got here, more dismounted Rohan Oathman ready to go up. Um, I know we've. These are all the same up here. Look at this. This looks amazing, though. We'll spend a moment and just look at this quickly before we get the battle underway. Look at that. Imagine being this guy up here. I'm trying to get trying to get it right. Ugh. That will do. But you you know what I mean. Like, you just up here and then you look down and you're like, that's all we've got to defend us? And there's all of those guys out there? Jesus. We'd stand no chance. So yeah, we've got more dismounted. Yep. To be fair, I think we've got fairly... Um, most dismounted archers, um, the spears and oathmen. We have got some axes down here. Just thought, felt like bringing them. I thought I'd show off everything. Obviously, Sons of Edoras, that's it. Um, obviously, this is not um, accurate with uh, the actual Battle of Helm's Deep, but I thought I'd just show off as many units as I could of the mod. So these guys look pretty cool. Um, these are the Royal Guard here. These guys look a bit Germanic. And also, they remind me a bit of like the, Pl the Platina Guard from uh, Attila. They look pretty cool. Oh, goddamn wall. And it, the camera did not agree. So yeah, they look pretty cool. Quite happy with uh, how they could, they look. And then um, and then obviously you've seen Theoden. We'll quickly look at the cavalry, and then we'll get this battle underway. Don't want to be waiting around. I mean, we can we can start the battle while we actually while we uh, while we look at these guys because Isengard have got to march up. So um, we've got who have we got here? Royal uh, Edoran lancers. These guys look pretty cool. Lots of lancers in the front. I'm pretty sure they make up most of the... Oh, and we've got Oathman lancers as well. I think these guys are slightly worse. Um, so, yeah, they don't look quite as fancy. They don't have, like, the weird plume at the top. And then we have Eastmark heavy riders. And I made these guys all, like, gold chevron because, like, Rohan's got the best cavalry in the world, in the Middle-earth world. So I was like, it's only accurate to bring um, that. So um, now that we have Rohan in this... I could try and do, uh, we could try and do put the Pel Pelennor Fields and have like Gondor defending Minas Tirith and then Rohan coming to its aid and then Mordor outside. It would be really, really cool. If you want to, if you guys want to see that, please let me know in the comments because I'd be really happy to do that. Um, so we've got like, so we'll look at Isengard quickly. And um, there's the White Hand Stormers. These guys are like uh, the stormtroopers almost of like Isengard, I presume. They're, like really, you can't, can't have many of them. Um, this is the general unit as well. So these guys, yeah, really elite. And then we've got uh, Urukai crossbows. These guys look excellent. Again, like you can see, it's getting dark now and you can barely see these guys with their armor. I'll have to do a day battle with them and show them off even better in that one. So yeah, these guys look pretty good. Yeah, they sound still got the voices of barbarians though, which is very funny. Uh, Urukai infantry, the main uh, infantry, they look excellent. And then we've got, um, what else have we got? I'm looking for them, but because there are some of them. More okay. Well, we've got pikes. We'll look at these guys quickly. Oh, here we go, actually. Found them as well. The berserkers. These guys, are, like they take out like five, six guys in the movies with their uh, awesome swords. Wouldn't really know. They're a bit like, they remind me of a bit of a claymore. The Scottish claymore a bit. But they've got a weird bit at the top. That also reminds me, it's like a claymore and a pickaxe had a child. And then you've got um, the... Urukai Pikes, these guys just look amazing. Look at them marching up there. And we've already got fire um, volleys come down from the um, archers, the dismounted uh, riders. I forgot, what I forgot what they're called entirely. The uh, Rohan archers anyway. Oh, rip and peace you. Here they come. They're going to get a lot of fire from these uh, ladders coming up. Obviously, we can't get the uh, the models for the Urukai uh, ladders, that'd be pretty cool though. Um, but we can't. And it's red blood, unfortunately, instead of black, orcish blood, because orcs are evil, so they have to have black blood in the movies, which makes sense. So, I mean, look at them, they're taking a lot of casualties. They're, they lost about 25, it's quite a lot. Um, this one also looks like you should shred up quite a few of them. Oof, yeah. So, we've already got um, fire coming back from the crossbows here. And they're already doing a lot of damage. Um, I, I realise in a minute, you'll see in a minute, this unit here gets absolutely shredded by crossbow fire. Here we go already. Oh, devastating. I forget that um, 
I forgot to turn them around so their shields are facing the way. So they've got their backs to the arrows. And, oh, ridiculous. That, that whole unit is gone, basically. There's like 20 of them left. And I was like, right, that's it. We've got to move these guys quickly. They're actually not breaking. That's That weak unit there is actually holding. But they are they are a awful unit. They're, they're like the old and the infirm. And they just got massacred. They're like, oh, I expected to retire any day now. But instead, I've got to fight for my life. And I got shot in the back. But anyway, the Uruks are now on the walls. And uh, fighting in amongst the, uh, the archers. So I couldn't get them off in time. But yes, they should be able to hold them their own. They're fairly good. They're, they're most elite archers. They look pretty cool. They've got axes. They're pretty. That's pretty nice. And they're, they're at the uh, the walls. They've broken down the walls. They don't know where the, the ram's gone. Just disappeared. These guys are now just taking fire as well. Just happily going to sit there and uh, get hit up. Um... I, the only thing I would have changed for Isengard is bring them some artillery so they could batter down my walls to like um, make it look like the mine went off because uh, that would have been quite cool but yes I think they did have some sort of engineer unit possibly but I didn't really want to risk it and just bring it just for it to be wasted I'm not quite sure it might have it might have worked it might not have um, but yes look at all the Rohan troops now just on the walls Trying to uh, break these guys down. Oryx aren't getting very far this in this breach any, here, but over here they're doing a lot of damage and they're just charging in. And um, they're, uh, but we're holding on. More, uh, more spears. It looks like we sent some spears up to uh, go and help them out. The Riddermark spears are now being sent up because it looks like most of the um, Rohan mustermen are pretty beaten up. And here we go, the hordes of Isengard troops going through and in, uh, this doesn't happen until the very very end of the film or uh, the battle um, when they get it pushed in and then really it actually comes down to Aragorn and Gimli obviously uh, getting ch chucking themselves over to save this this gate but um, yeah they're already breaking in don't know why I'm telling you guys about the film you probably already know what's going what happens in the film but yeah you can barely see the Isengard troops it's a blob of black I'm sorry about that, um, but we're all here to see the Rohirrim, really. That's why we're here. Who cares about the bad guys? No one does, really. So yeah, here they come. All of the Urukai just pouring in. The oil is probably racking up hundreds of kills, but we are losing the gate. Unfortunately, the gate is being lost, and now the pikes are getting sent up. Unfortunately, the pikes, yeah, are having to go over the walls, and unfortunately, because I didn't bring a catapult so they could batter down the walls, but it's the AI as well. So they just send pikes over the walls anyway. But yeah, I just, it always makes me laugh how those stupid elves just charge into pikes head on. Instead of just like, it always, I watched it the other day and I was like, why didn't they just fire arrows, like continue to fire arrows at the pike wall? The pikes wouldn't have got there in time for like ages. Um, because pikes are heavy to carry, even for Uruks. They would have taken a while to like march up to those elves, and the elves could have just kept shooting them back, and they would have never probably reached there. But instead, obviously for the film, they had to just charge in and save Gimli. Gimli could have held his own. He's a he's a dwarf. He can do lots of do lots of kill killing. You can say lots of kills, but that's awful English. But yeah. The uh, wall fight is getting pretty bloody. There's, just a, there's a load of dead on the floor. But also, look at this. They've now got onto the ground. This is uh, quite worrying for me. And I sent in archers and um, some swords to uh, clear them out. This is uh, basically what it's come down to. These archers here don't have axes. Why, where are your axes, boys? They look really cool. But yeah, they put the bows on the back and then they uh, get their swords out. It's really, really cool. And they take their shields off their back. I really like that animation. And there, there we go. Another dead Uruk. And these were pikes, uh, but I rushed them really quickly so they couldn't form up properly. So now they're really worried about what they're doing. So these guys won't stand long in there without their pikes out. Um, yeah, look at this. Already below, well below half strength, and they're losing decisively. The archers at this point are decimating quite a few of my units. Like, look at this unit as well. On the, getting absolutely flanked fire. Um, and it's lost about... 13 men. It's not great. So uh, yeah, we break this unit down here. The Uruk Pikes. 
Now we uh, are going in back up onto the walls. And we're getting overwhelmed on the walls a bit. I will not lie. The walls are looking bad. Something's been destroyed. A whole unit. An entire unit has been destroyed. I thought it was going to say the gates. Oh, the walls have been destroyed. And it's like, well, I don't remember that happening. The berserkers are at the back here. Ready. About to push in. We really need these. They really want these guys at the front. Cutting everyone up. But I mean, I think I'm about to send up troops. Yep, here they go. And these brave men. Archers, most of them are going into the back of the berserkers. What brave, brave souls. And also stupid. Who... I, I, you would not see me going up on the walls and like attacking a hundred odd um, Urukai on this wall. I'd be like, oh no, I'm not doing that. But yeah, the uh, the cavalry's still not mobilized. Still waiting on its orders. Oh, actually, as I speak, here they go. They've been mobilized. Aemer with his cavalry are arriving. And there's quite a lot of cavalry. I think there's around 4,000 uh, cavalry under Aemer's command that got banished and then Gandalf persuaded them to come back and help their king. Look at that. Charging down. In the distance is the uh, Urukai crossbowman. Here they come. Charging down. Epic, epic charge. Ah. Oh. That charge got ruined, boys. I'm not going to lie. Did you all get stuck on that corner? I think you did, didn't you? You all got stuck on the corner. Pathfinding in this is awful. It is awful. But look, they were following this guy. I know, he's got stopped. He's got stopped and they're now charging in and harassing all the... Uh, all of the um, archers over here so that, who are now running away. They're, gonna, they're not going to stand long. But it looks like the, the day is won. I have a lot of reserves still. Theoden's not even been mobilized yet. I think I am. Uh, I think he gets mobilized in a bit, and I send him down to go and help fight with his men. Uh, but we still have a bit of breaking going on. These uh, Riddermark spears aren't holding well. Um, but yeah, I think it's a fairly balanced mod. While we're, um, I th we know basically the battle is probably won. They've not even got off the walls yet or pushed really deep in, so we can probably call it um, a victory for Rohan. Um, but I think it is fairly balanced. I think it, I shouldn't have chevron these guys up so much. Um, but I was really, really worried about um, how strong um, the Uruks were in comparison. But um, if I was to do anything different, and I'm happy to do this battle again, if you want me to do a, a, a better battle, I'll get someone like Scrim to come and play as the Urukai, or so we have also have someone competent playing as the Uruks. Um, I'd probably give, say, have some artillery. I also probably give them more numbers. I think it's fairly even on the Urukai numbers. But. Um, but at the same time, it's also a disadvantage because so many of the uh, Rohirrim forces actually don't start the battle. They uh, have to wait quite a while till they join. But yes, we're just riding down. Riding our Uruks now. That's, that's always fun. Look at this. Poor old guys. They were like, we're going to be safe at the back here, just cut, cutting people down with our cross, crossbows from afar. But no, they're now getting cut down like grass. But they do look amazing. I really am have really like the cavalry for Rohan. They look really, really good. I'll definitely play him with this um, faction again. 100%. Yep, the uh, Uruks are not looking healthy now. When I like get close to the mat, uh, close to Helm's Deep, I like hit a little bit of lag, and I'm like, oh no, never a good sign. But yeah, look at this. All these Uruks at the back. Look at all the dead Uruks down here. That is ridiculous. Disgusting. But this, I think there's only the Berserkers now holding in there. Oh no, there's a lot actually holding in there. But it is gradually breaking. Now I think there's going to be a train route. Yeah, slowly but surely they're all retreating. And the cavalry uh, waiting for them. The for oh, the enemy going for our general. Oh yeah, the, I don't know who... Don't know who's shooting him, but um, Theoden is now going in with his uh, with his bodyguard. And he's like, "We're going to go and represent. Got to represent the king." Oh, is that a rock or something that just fell off? Or was it a head? It might have been a head. I think these are heads. Yeah, the heads that are falling off. That is very very funny, actually. 
don't know if they're Rohirrim heads or Oak heads. But um, they're still... They're all queuing up. I don't think there's enough room. They're all trying to get up. They're all popping up gradually. But yeah, look at that. Sandwich between the Rohirrim right now. Yep, yeah, it really is. These are poor Oaks. Uh, I don't know if they're trying to break, if they're breaking or if they are. I think they are. Yep, yeah, these are all breaking, but the Berserkers, I think, might be unbreakable. These poor Uruk Pikes are like, let us get out of here. I'm just, I'm also really happy that they've got the um, unique. Well, they've got unique weapons for all of the, uh, all of the Urukai. They've got the Berserker um, swords. They've got the Uruk Pikes. But yeah, look at these guys just trying to get through and they're just like, nope, not happening. You're getting cut down. Yeah, more heads dropping. So, uh, so that's that's really the battle for you guys. Um, there is a little bit left. Um, there's some Uruk still holding. Quite a lot of them, actually. I think I have to send in a lot. The, seems like the breach is... Uh, the breach? The, uh, the uh, gate is actually quite a problem. They're all packed in here. I'm, I would like to see how many are dead under here, but I don't think um, we will. There's just so many bodies here. But it it's going to be a lot. A lot, well, I mean, there's a lot of dead there because of all the oil. But, um, they, like, if it was actually used by someone that wasn't an AI, you'd actually, you wouldn't send this many troops in at once because it is just prone to the AI, just, um, to the oil just destroying you. But let's look at this charge. Watch this charge. Just like, oh no, there we go. Oh god, oh god. We sort of got that charge, I kind of messed up there. But yeah, god, that was nasty. And now we're just looking at all the Rohirrim back here. But they're now all chasing up after the Oryx that are breaking. This is a mass route, I'm pretty sure. Oh, some of them are breaking, some of them are wavering. But we're not letting them escape by the looks of it. And now uh, the infantry can charge out, and they can uh, they can do some stuff. Oh, actually, don't charge out infantry. You'll get killed by oil. You'll get killed by oil. Actually, maybe they won't. Maybe it doesn't damage them. But yep, it's looking pretty nasty under there. I mean, there seems like a lot of dead there, but not a lot of um, not masses of dead actually at the break at the breach. Well, not the breach. Uh, where they, the lines collide. Not too many dead, by the way, compared to that anyway. That's ridiculous. So, yeah, victory is ours, and uh, we're just running down the uh, Uryx now. So that, that, is, that is the battle, guys. If you enjoyed, please uh, like and subscribe for uh, more Lord of the Rings and uh, battles. I'm sure I'll be doing a plenty more of them. But, yeah, if you enjoyed... Um, please let me know. With a, I also appreciate comments, and uh, if you want to see any battles in particular, um, please comment them. Right, let's end the replay and have a look at the results quickly. So, um, so those Oathmen, fair, well, well, everything for me was well chevroned up. I should have chevroned up some of the Isengard stuff as well. Um, but yeah, those um, Oathmen were excellent. They were, I mean, they were in the fright, fight from start to finish, and they decimated loads and loads of uh, Isengard troops it seems like and the ma mustard uh, men did okay most of them did anyway apart from this one this one was a bit awful um, Theoden getting some kills I'd like to think he got one of those kills and the bodyguard when it joined probably did quite well the axes did quite well um, dismounted uh, well not dismounted uh, Riddermark Spearman doing well dismounted shield archers doing very well um, the cavalry doing well but I mean they only had to run up um, and kill some archers. So they did fairly well. Uruk, um, a lot of their Uruk I infantry did not do so well. Probably because I had so much chevroned up stuff. But, um, oh no, that's Uruk I. Oh, yeah, it's all Uruk I. So, oh, they had the White Hand Stormers. White Hand Stormers didn't do very well at all. Berserkers doing some of the best. Crossbows doing excellent for them. So, yeah, apparently I lost nearly 800 men, but I can't really see where the Uruks did the damage. It just kind of is generally all over the place, I guess. They did the damage. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye for now.